Hi, my friends, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Legacy Stacker, and today we're going to cover the coin, or should I say the coins of the week, which are these 2022 Morgan and Peace Silver Dollar Reverse Proofs. But first, to the computer. Now, here at the SD Bullion website, today is Monday, November 21st, 2022. The silver spot price is $21.14. The gold spot price is $1,758, which gives us a gold to silver ratio of 83 to 1. Hi, my Precious Metals fans. I am very excited to announce that ST Bullion has approved my channel into its Bullion Affiliate Program. So if you would like to purchase your Precious Metals from ST Bullion, please use my affiliate links below in the description. It won't cost you any more and it will really help my channel out. ST Bullion is not sponsoring this video, but they are one of the most trusted bullion sites when purchasing precious metals. Here's the disclaimer. A few months ago, I created a video on the 2021 Morgan and Peace Mint State 70 coins that I previously had graded by NGC. I'll put a link right up here to that video if you want to watch that video first, for context. As you know, if you watch my channel, I have an extensive Morgan Silver Dollar collection. The Morgan Silver Dollars were originally minted from 1878 all the way up to 1904, and then stopped minting them again until restarting the minting in 1921, which was the last minting of the Morgan Silver Dollar. After that, the Peace Silver Dollar also began minting in 1921 as well. Now fast forward to last year, 2021, was the 100th year anniversary of both the final minting of the Morgan Silver Dollar, as well as the 100th year anniversary of the start of the minting of the Peace Silver Dollar. So, the U.S. Mint produced five Morgan Silver Dollars with different mint marks and one Peace Dollar in 2021 to celebrate those two 100th year anniversaries. The five Morgan Silver Dollars had the following mint marks or privies. Philadelphia, which contains no mint mark. It's assumed to be from the Philadelphia Mint, the same as the original Morgan Silver Dollars. The D mint mark for the Denver Mint, the S mint mark for the San Francisco mint, the CC privy signifying the Carson City mint, which is no longer in service, thus the privy instead of a mint mark, and the O privy signifying the New Orleans mint, which is also no longer minting coins. The 2021 peace silver dollar has no mint mark, again signifying the Philadelphia mint, just as the original coins did 100 years prior. Now, I originally purchased these six coins from the U.S. Mint because there are no pre-2021 Morgan Silver Dollars in existence which are in the Mint State 70 condition or a perfect strike. I purchased these coins in 2021 to see for myself what a perfectly minted Morgan Silver Dollar would look like. At that point in time, I didn't even think of having the raw coins graded. But once I had the coins in hand, I thought, why not take the next step and send them in for grading just to see if I could get some higher grades? And to my surprise, four of them came back as Mint State 70s, the highest grade. Later, I upgraded the two coins that came back Mint State 69 for Mint State 70 coins for a complete set of Mint State 70 coins. The coins we'll be reviewing today are the 2022 Morgan and Peace Silver Dollar Reverse Proof Coins. I purchased this Morgan Silver Dollar Reverse Proof Coin from the Cable Shopping Network, or CSN, as a graded coin. More on CSN and these coins coming up. A proof coin will have devices or raised components of the coin in a frosted white finish, and the field of the coin or the background will have a mirror finish. Since this is a reverse proof coin, it's reversed with the devices in a mirror finish and the field is a frosted white finish. 
The camera doesn't really do these silver coins justice. I can tell you, these coins are beautiful. And as we look at the reverse, we can see there is no mint mark on the bottom of the coin indicating the Philadelphia Mint. However, since the U.S. Mint decided not to mint these coins in 2022 as originally planned, this beautiful reverse proof coin has been minted by the Fiji Mint. You can see the Fiji coat of arms there on the right. More on the minting of these coins coming up as well. This coin is graded reverse proof 70 by the NGC Grading Company, has a mintage of just 5,000 coins, and based on that mintage and grade, is currently worth approximately $250. And now it's time for viewer mail. I received a letter from Freedom Stacker. It reads, Legacy Stacker, thanks for the shout outs you do for the stacking family. Here's a Freedom Stacker swag pack. Keep stacking, Freedom Stacker. And he sent a few stickers. That's a cool one. And a magnet. Very cool. Thank you, Freedom Stacker. I'll certainly return the favor. If you would like to send me a letter, a sticker, or even silver or gold, yes, it happens. My address is right here, and of course in the description below. And I can promise you, anything I receive, I will review on the channel, as these items will be considered my most precious possessions. And I can promise you, anything I receive, I will never sell. They will remain in my legacy collection forever. When I first purchased my 2021 Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars, I had no idea the Mint was planning to restart this collection series. I thought at that time it was a one-time event to commemorate the 100th anniversary of these coins. Then the U.S. Mint announced they would mint Morgan and Peace reverse proof silver dollars in 2022. It was only at that point that I realized the U.S. Mint was planning to restart these two silver dollar collections. Unfortunately, the U.S. Mint later announced that they would not be minting the reverse proof Morgan and Peace silver dollars as anticipated. And for 2023, the U.S. Mint has announced the minting of Morgan and Peace dollars as well. So, as a collection restart, it's not off to a very good start. With coins minted in 2021, but not in 2022, and then again minting in 2023, assuming they go through with their plans of minting the 2023 coins. Let me know down in the comments, how do you feel about this situation? Now, the second coin we're reviewing today is the 2022 Peace Silver Dollar Reverse Proof Coin. I purchased this coin from the Cable Shopping Network, or CSN, as a graded coin as well. And, as we look at the reverse, we can see there is no mint mark, which would normally signify the Philadelphia Mint. Again, however, since the U.S. Mint decided not to mint these coins in 2022, as originally planned, this beautiful reverse proof coin has also been minted by the Fiji Mint. As you know, I've been focusing on my Morgan Silver Dollar collection. However, now that I have bought into these newer Peace Silver Dollars, both from 2021 and now 2022, I'm seriously considering starting an original Peace Silver Dollar collection, which began minting in 1921. What do you think? Should I start an original Peace Silver Dollar collection? Let me know down in the comments. This coin is graded Reverse Proof 70 by the NGC Grading Company, has a mintage of just 5,000 coins, and based on that mintage and grade, is worth approximately $250. Hi, my friends. As you can tell, I've made a decision to keep my identity anonymous on this channel for security reasons. Please feel free to participate in my Million Subscriber Challenge by clicking on the subscribe button below. Do you really want to know who I am? If so, please click on the subscribe button and when I reach 1 million subscribers, I will move from behind the camera to in front of the camera. That's my challenge to you. It won't cost you anything and most of all, thank you. Finally, I would like to discuss the minting of these 2022 Morgan and Peace Silver Reverse Proof Dollars by the Fiji Mint, as well as my experience with CSN. 
First, the Fiji Mint only produced a very small number of coins, just 5,000, as compared to the 2021 Morgan Silver Dollars minted by the U.S. Mint of 175,000 coins. Also, the Fiji Mint sold all 5,000 of the coins to only one vendor, CSN. In my mind, this can lead to price fixing. Now, you could say the U.S. Mint could also fix the price of the coins as well, since they are the one single source of these coins normally. Now, this has been my first and only experience with CSM. I do watch their program on TV, but I've never purchased any coins from them, because I've always felt I could purchase the same coins from my local coin shop, or LCS, at a lower price. However, I can understand that CSN has to pay for the overhead of their TV presence and everything that goes into that production. I don't feel that the price for these particular coins were too overpriced since I received an NGC graded coin for approximately $250 each. If I consider the price of the raw reverse proof coin I would have normally paid for at the US Mint and added the grading fees I would have had to pay combined with the extremely low mintage of just 500 coins. I received my coins approximately four weeks after I ordered them, which may seem a bit long. However, to be fair, if I had purchased the raw coins from the US Mint and then sent them in for grading at NGC, it would have taken me equally as long to get the graded coins back, if not longer. Let me know down in the comments what do you think of these coins, and how do you feel about them only being offered by one vendor, CSN? And finally, are you interested in purchasing these coins? This week's YouTube channel shoutout of the week goes to... Son of a Silver Stacker. I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description below. Son of a Silver Stacker talks about spot prices and markets, silver and gold stacking, and other impacts on precious metals. Again, I'll leave a link to Son of a Silver Stacker's YouTube channel down in the description. A special thank you to my loyal patrons, without whom this channel would not be possible. Thank you, my friends. I truly appreciate your support. And always remember, my friends, silver and gold, it's wealth you can hold in your hands. Oh,